Hey guys, just finished watching Swamp Thing, season one, episode one, the pilot. Um, <laughs> oh my god, what an amazing show this is. Um, this really is interesting. There are a few problems that they do have with this show, just kind of things that kind of don't match up. Um, but I'm really excited for this show, and I think I really love the look of this show, the horror aspect of it, how they dive right into it. Um, we get Swamp Thing right in the first episode. I think that's really cool. Um, I think it's really awesome the way, the way they've done this show, and I really kind of like the, the way things are going. But I already noticed one little thing that might hint at um, the, the production being kind of stopped mid uh, midway, right? So I think that's kind of... Uh, a, a bit to, uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see as to where things kind of go to see how the ending is. Because if I'm not mistaken, they did have to, they did come on set and kind of shut production down. They had to just finish the episode they were filming. They were not allowed to film the last three episodes. So it's going to be interesting to see as to where things go with, with that and how much we get to see of, you know, how much maybe we'll see it more at the end of the, of the stuff or if we get to see it throughout the whole season pieces that's like, oh, if they had the full time they were originally going to put into this, to, to put to making this season, then things would have been all iron, all these problems that we might have throughout the season might be that we might have been ironed out. So there's nothing in this, and maybe we'll see it get worse and worse, you know, once, once they put uh, less and less time into uh, episodes and stuff. So we'll see how that goes for the progression of the season. But I'm really hoping that we do get at least, you know, the first, I think it was 10 episodes we have here. So maybe the, the are we going to get 10 episodes? It says 10 episodes on IMDb. Who knows if we only get like seven of them. Um, so if we get, let's say we only get like seven of them and they didn't get to film the last three, maybe we get like a good seven or a good like six of them or they're all real good and then the last like two start to get a little bit bad because the ending is kind of a bit rushed and kind of they only do like reshoot time to kind of finish it. So we'll have to wait and see as to kind of where things go with all that. But so far for this episode, for episode number number one, it's a great episode and I definitely can't wait to see as to where things go. And if the most of this ep the season stays like this and we'll see how the ending turns out, um, and then I think this could definitely be a possibility. It could be good for this show, just to kind of, you know, maybe someone, another channel, kind of picks this up to do a season two, and then we get to kind of iron out the the kinks, and they actually could put the proper amount of time into something like this. So we'll have to wait and see as to kind of where things go with this. But we start off this episode with a bunch of guys in a boat type thing, and they get kind of killed. We see like this stuff coming through and, and stuff. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see as to how they kind of play this, this mythos of the Swamp Thing. And I didn't really know anything really about Swamp Thing. Um, you know, I haven't really read too much of his comic books or anything like that. So I definitely checked out a little bit of stuff on YouTube, watched a bunch of origin videos and stuff, people describing the origin of the Swamp Thing. And I know there's different, you know, you got the Alec Olsen and Alec uh, uh, Holland type thing. Um, so diff two different uh, Swamp Thing stuff and have the fact that there's kind of different mythos for Swamp Thing, you know, where he's, they're kind of like, it's kind of like a Green Lantern, but of the green type thing where there's different, there's different types of, there's the rot, there's the green, there's all kinds of different things like that, the wood, uh, you know, all kinds of different things, things like that. And I think that could be something cool to kind of play with. Um, at least, at least for this show, I think we're keeping it simpler to kind of the uh, the green versus the rot. It could be something interesting to kind of play with for this this show. It doesn't seem like they're going to be playing with that too too early at, at this point. But it is the first episode. They could set that up later on. We'll have to just wait and see as if they end up doing those storylines. But the idea that you know there might be two different, multiple different swamp things. You know, or there's a previous swamp thing, kind of just like like I said, the gr Green Lantern. The rain gets passed on from person to person whenever they die, right? I think that could be something interesting like that. You know, there might have been a previous Swamp Thing, then there might be a future Swamp Thing. That could be something fun to kind of play with throughout uh, the mythos of this show, and I think it could be really kind of fun to dive into. So we see this uh, Abby Crane, so I, you know, the, the, the lead of the show, and she's uh, she goes back home, you know, to help deal with the sick uh, in her old hometown and stuff. That was kind of interesting. And we see that she's uh, she tells everyone this is a scene. She she arrives there. She's in the hospital room with the sick people, and uh, she tells everyone, "Okay, everyone has to cover up and wear goggles." And then the next goddamn scene we see is her over the patient with just a mask on and no goggles. And she and it's just kind of it was such a like it threw me out of the show because it's like she just said wear goggles, and the next thing we see her is in that everything she described except for the goggles and you know I, I, I don't understand why how that's got through to, to this stuff because we open up the episode with her and you know in a different in the congos trying to help some other kids with uh, some deadly disease and stuff and she takes and everyone has a gas mask and all that stuff there um so maybe they don't need that here but 
they don't she has no idea what's going on she's just first examining this patient zero so it's like why would you not have goggles on or at least put everything on um, or at least put goggles on to try and figure out what's going on um I don't know, it's just kind of a, a, a bit silly that, you know, she said completely kill, you have to make sure everything is, is perfect, you know, she said all that stuff before even diagnosing or figuring out or even taking a look at patient zero, and yet she walks in without goggles, and it was just kind of so silly, um, and they could, probably could have changed that up if they had time to probably look over this episode by, you know, cutting that line out, the word goggles out and redoing it in ADR somehow, um, or just straight up reshooting that scene to just put her up with goggles on. Um, but if they couldn't do that because of production ending and stuff or whatever, they could have probably done that at ADR and kind of changing it up and, you know, uh, using, wearing and cutting out the word goggles or, you know, explaining as to why she doesn't need goggles or whatever. It just seemed a bit, um, weird that she didn't have goggles on the next scene. Um, we see that the body, we see later on, they end up finding the, the, the daughter's like father and he's all like, he's all like grown out type thing in, in the bathroom. That was kind of cool, that re reveal and stuff. Um, they find someone in, in the room kind of cutting things up uh, and uh, they find Alec Holland cutting things up, her and the police officer, and then they see the, the father, the, the little girl, kind of all like, oh, it was such a great scene, such a great moment. Um, watching that, it was really cool. Uh, and then we see they bring the body back to the, to the lab, tries to dissect it and stuff, and it comes to life. <laughs> that was such a cool scene. Um, it definitely was really interesting. That's when I really had to kind of pause the the, I paused the, the show and I was like, is this going to be his origin scene, Alex's origin scene? Um, so I definitely Googled that to see it right away to watch a couple of videos on YouTube just to see as to kind of what this was going to be his origin uh, uh, you know, scene, but it wasn't. They obviously left that to the end of the episode. I mean, of course, why would you put that in the beginning of the, uh, you know, right in the middle of, of the seat of, of the episode? You know, you're going to say that for the end of the episode as a perfect cliff cliffhanger to go into episode two, right? That's perfect. Um, so we see that we find out that Abby is blamed for the death of her friend. Uh, I guess her childhood best friend type thing. And at first I thought it was she was blamed for like the suicide of her best friend because earlier on we see when she first shows up there we start seeing kind of like glimpses of flashbacks where she's kind of, you know, having memories, seeing memories of, of things that were there. And, you know, like, oh, I remember look, she looked at this spot. She remembers what she used to do that back then. And at one point we see a car on the bridge and her and her friend get out and someone's standing on the on the 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 uh, the edge of a of a bridge, and I thought it was her attempt, attempting suicide or her just looking out, uh, you know, as a teenager, just kind of, you know, looking out uh, into the distance or you know attempting suicide or something like that. And then when it was, uh, and then when the mother of the other child showed up uh, at the bar, I thought it was okay. She her friend committed suicide and she's being blamed for it. And then later on, she says she should have killed someone. And he never asked. And Alex never asked the question as to what like it doesn't ask any more questions about that i understand it's something you don't want to press and all that stuff he doesn't want to pry too much um but if, from what i've been checking out on youtube from what i know about swamp thing now he can't speak too much so how is he going to add, finally ask her that question are we going to get find out that question as to you know whatever what actually happened to her friend type thing i think that's only going to be something fun to, to find out to see as to kind of where things could go um, with this storyline, I think it definitely could be really interesting to see. So, and then we end this episode with Alec Holland becoming Swamp Thing and stuff, and so that'd be really interesting. It looks like there's obviously some sort of subplot of, you know, uh, the billionaire guy. Sounds like, seems like the billionaire guy. I think what's his name? Uh, is it Kane? No, not Crane. Or uh, what is it? Uh, Avery? Oh, S Sunder? Sunderland? Thunderland looks sounds like they're kind of, uh, you know, the rich family of the town. Um, and maybe there's some sort of conspiracy going on. It looks like there's some sort of nefarious plot to kind of make the plant life grow or whatever. Or to, you know, improve the plant life. Or maybe he's just kind of a rich person making his money off of the swamp. Like he said in this episode. And he's trying to put this chemicals in there to help, it, you know, rapid growth the swamp. So that the swamp can expand. And he can kind of, you know, make more money off the swamp or somehow something like that. Which... They say that people are making money off the swamp, and I'm trying to figure like, how exactly are they making money off the swamp? Just to me, it just doesn't come. It seems so obvious as it did for the, for the people in the show as to like how they're making their living off of the swamp. Now, I understand you could be hunting alligators, things like that. Show us a few things um, to give to give you know some of the people who are watching the show who don't live near swamps, uh, just to give them an idea as to how they're making money off off of the swamp, or just show us 
someone making a living off of the swamp. And the only thing we saw was these people dropping off, these guys dropping off these these containers to to rapidly grow the the the, the swamp and stuff. But they're just getting paid by this rich person for because you know um, it doesn't really make sense as to how their people are living and making their making money off of the swamp. So I think that'd be kind of uh, it'd be nice to see a few people doing that just to make it more clear as to how they're doing all that. So all in all, I'm really excited to see as to where things go with the show. I know there's a great uh, comic book storyline that I remember hearing Kevin Smith describe in one of his readout on one of his podcasts where it was Swamp Thing meets Batman and stuff. And um, I think it was one of those Brave and Bold where there's Swamp Thing and Batman. And the whole story was pretty much the gist of it was kind of Swamp Thing um, and his and his uh, and Abby, I guess. Um, his love interest kind of being together and how uh they were not you know the, the governments or something the city politicians and stuff were not uh didn't want to let uh swamp thing ever near her and stuff because it was kind of pretty much bestiality and stuff um and then he kind of batman just pretty much just saying if you're not going to let this guy be with the, the love of his life um you know and let her be with him then you better go to, to Metropolis and tell the other alien that he can't be with whoever he loves type thing. And that was just kind of like that moment and that was like, oh my God, now that's perfect line and stuff. So I forget that issue or something like that, but I think that's going to be something interesting to see if we ever get a story kind of like that. Um, I, guess for, I would love to kind of figure out as to which issue that that was, but obviously we probably won't have Batman on here. <laughs> I would probably bet against that, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see kind of where things go and where the storyline goes from here so let me know what you think guys about this episode in the comments below what do you like about this and uh how do you think things are going and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out